What is up, guys? Jesse504 here, coach of the Chicago Bear Ticks, bringing you my JLPC Season 5 draft analysis. JLPC is an interesting league for a few reasons. First of all, they allow either Mega Evolutions, Z Moves, or Gigantamax, but you only get to pick one. They also allow S tier Pokemon, which are mods that would be normally a little bit too strong, like Protean Greninja. Libero Cinderace, Melmetal, and some of those crazy Megas like Mega Gengar, Mega Blaziken, Mega Salamin. So on to my draft. I picked at number 4 out of 16, which meant that I had a nice early pick, and I had to wait a while to get my next pick. So I figured I'd just take a Mon that I really wanted to use in Megalopunny. Megalopunny, solid 135 base speed, 136 base attack, it'll hit hard. It did lose return since this league has no cup moves, but it still has Stab Facade, which will hit, especially if I'm status. Stab Fighting is also really strong. Scrappy ability, so no ghosts can switch in on my normal or fighting moves. Also, Elemental Punches for coverage always helps out. Megalopony is a mod that I've been wanting to try out for a while, and I'm excited at this opportunity. So up next, I had to wait a while, I decided to pair with Megalopunny with Cephalon. 107 base speed, 151 base special attack, hits really hard, pretty fast, can hold the choice scarf, can hold choice specs, do what I need it to. Fire and ghost stabs are both really strong, hitting just insanely hard, especially if I get a beast boost up, then this thing can just go through some teams. Also has Trick if I want to give away my items, Psychic Coverage, and Mind Blown is just a really strong move if I'm willing to sacrifice some of my health. Up next, figured, you know, I got these two strong fast threats that can be one physical, one special. Why not grab a strong fast mixed attacker in Zero Aura? 112 base attack, 102 base special attack, I can just get it to do what I need to do. 143 base speed might have been the fastest mon drafted, which means that although its bulk is not the greatest, I can probably afford to run some EVs and HP defense or special defense on any given week and still be the fastest thing. Volt Absorb gives me a nice electric immunity, and that combined with Plasma Fist means I also just take normal moves and instead of them doing damage, I heal off of them. Additionally, Bulk Up is a solid setup option, and it has Knock Off, Play Rough, and Close Combat on the physical side, as well as Grass Knot and a few more moves on the special side. So Zero Aura, it's just a mon that I'm really excited to use, really excited to pair with the other two. Just keep the draft fast, keep it hitting hard. That doesn't change with Cobalion. At this point, I kind of realized I needed to start my, fire, or my Dragon Fairy Steel Core. And with that 108 base speed, can do what I need it to. It can set rocks, it can sword stance up, it can just volt switch out, which makes it a really solid lead, very versatile, hard to predict. Cobalion has many solid sets, and although it is held back by only 90 in the base attacking stats, it can still hit hard, especially after a sword stance, or just like use some special moves like volt switch, and that won't do negative damage. Cobalion, solid mon that I've wanted to try out, and I figure that it'll help out my Fairy Dragon Steel Core a lot, and it's something that I want to start. I doubled up on fighting, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially since Cobalion and Megalopunny play very differently. So just having this mon that'll just hit holes in teams, or set rocks, just do what it needs to do. Hard to predict, like if they think I'm just going to set rocks turn 1 and I go for a sword stance, it could be really bad for them. So Cobalion, just a mod that I'm really excited to use. And up next, I figured I need a little more bulk, so I grabbed Shaman. Base 100 everywhere, and tier 3 is really nice. Still has that 100 base speed tier, which is very crowded, but makes some of those mods have to run their full speed if they want to tie me. I can run, yeah, I can run bulky, bulky sets, special sets, just very versatile. It can be a cleric with aromatherapy synthesis do what i needed to do stall out the other team if it has to but overall shaman plus blacephalon starting that fire water grass core as well so up next i figured i'd go back into my free points grab noivern 123 base speed it'll outspeed a lot 
97 special attack isn't the greatest, but it can hold choice specs pretty well with that 123 base speed. Draco Meteor, Hurricane, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, so it makes use of very high power moves. Also, U-Turn, a great utility move, as well as Switcheroo if I want to choice my opponent. So Noivern also has some solid bulk, or some surprising bulk at 85 HP, 80 defense, 80 special defense. It can take a hit if it has to. It also starts up my hazards a little more with the hazard removal defog. So, another solid addition to my Fairy Dragon Steel Core that will be finished up later. So up next, kind of on this cores, so I figured I'd go into tier 4, grab Quiltish. 95 base attack, solid. 85 base defense plus intimidate means it'll take a lot. It can set spikes and toxic spikes, which is very valuable. It's also a grounded poison type, which means it'll it'll absorb other teams' toxic spikes if they set them on me. And Quillfish is a mod that I've seen used pretty successfully in draft league, so I'm excited to try it out for myself. 85 base speed also helps spread out my speed tiers, which is something that is going to be very important for this draft, seeing as I have a lot of fast things, just making some of the slower mons have to run a little bit of speed if they want to speed creep, and kind of reduce their bulk, makes them even easier to break. Up next, I figured I'd go into my free points again, grab more Pico. More Pico, 97 base speed, 95 base attack, hits really hard with that stab or a wheel, gets even faster, and hits for electric or dark at that 110 base power with that speed raise, just one of the strongest moves in the game. Rapid spin, also solid, you'll see at the end of my draft I kind of just emphasize hazards, hazard removal. Parting shot is a very versatile move, just lets me get into another mon, like maybe they went for a ground move, I can go into Noivern. Pico is a mon that I've used a little bit, but when I used it, I used it pretty successfully. Here's a mon that really cute, really fast, is hard, excited to use it. So up next, I figured I'd grab the best tier 5 in my opinion, Armaldo. 125 base attack really hits hard. Although it only has 45 base speed, it can rapid spin and like at plus 1 it'll outspeed some stuff. It can hit hard with that rock stab, bug stab. It has good setup options. It has knockoff. It has aqua jet. So it has priority. It has knockoff, which is a very good move, especially in draft league, just getting rid of my opponent's items. Items are where a solid bit of prep comes in. It has a good amount of physical bulk and decent special bulk as well, which is what I was looking for in these later rounds, just something that can take hits. So that my late game Megalopony, Bicephalon, Zeraora, or the S tier that I'm grabbing can come in and sweep. And after that, I figured, still don't have to take my S tier, I've locked it up since like round 2. I'll grab Claydol. 75 speed, solid after a rapid spin, can outspeed 100s, and if I want to run even more speed, it can outspeed up to higher speeds. 120 special defense is something that this team needed. It needed a lot more special defense, in my opinion. 105 base defense is also solid. It can hit physically decently with Earthquake and Zen Headbutt. It can hit specially decently as well with Earth Power and Psychic. Claydol can also stealth rock and rapid spin. You've heard me say it a lot, but I value that. Additionally, it is a levitator, which gives me another ground immunity, which this team definitely needs. Ublacephalon, Cobalion, Quillfish, Zerora, and Morpico all needing that. Gives me another electric immunity, which is solid. It also just does what I needed to do as a lower tier mon, just get hazards up and just do what it needs to do to help out the team. So up next, last up, round 11, grabbing that S tier Tapu Lele. 95 base speed is solid. Sets terrain when it comes in, so no priority. That really helps out this team that's really fast, so priority might be the only way that my opponent wants to outspeed them, but none of that. 130 base special attack, especially like in terrain. The only thing that can really take a psychic is not even like a resist. They would have to go into a dark type. But even with that, they would have to fear a moon blast from Tahu Lele that will also do big damage. Can be choice scarf and choice specs, just one or the other. They have to kind of prep for either every week. Because if they bring in something that wants to handle a choice scarf, probably can't take a spec hit. And 
if they bring in something expecting it to outspeed, the Choice Scarf variant is nasty. With a Scarf, it can outspeed, I'm pretty sure, all other non-Scarfers that were drafted. Which is another thing that's really, really solid. Tapu Lele, Psychic type and Fairy type finishes out that core that I wanted to. It can run Defog, but I have all those other options, so it shouldn't feel pressured to. With Tapu Lele, I wanted to pair it with Mega Little Pony, and I ended up getting to do that, and I didn't even have to do it. I just got to wait. Maybe get a really well-rounded team and still grab that S tier I wanted, which was something that I was planning on doing earlier in the draft. So, just seeing my plan come to fruition was really nice.